here over at Subscribestar. So communists are not people, and Dead Rising disagrees with that. It's little things in movies and games across cop, uh, pop culture. It's these little bits of, of just lameness, of normalizing cultural Marxism so they can move the window to get people to accept just dumber and dumber things. Where they, uh, they end up taking the spark out of everything. It's, it's these little things, and you, you just point to one thing and some, you know, nut job sjw goes oh it's this one little thing you know it's all the little things that uh that add up to make things just soft and and jelly bean and they kind of nerf everything so it's it's lame diverse and feminist and and gay and trans and and furry put in kind of everything and like yeah i'll just have to accept it it's there it's representation yeah, but I mean, people aren't really accepting it. So this um, this video game was from t 2006, and 18 years ago shows you 18 years shows you how fast things, how far the globalists have been able to brainwash people. Uh, this is a game that had a Chinese guy who was some kind of serial killer, and in the remake they changed him because somehow a Chinese is offensive, but changing him to I don't know vaguely European character is less offensive and when you ask them how they don't have a response to it because it's just you know what are they going to say it's uh they go oh it's a harmful stereotype that in the zombie apocalypse there'll be chinese cannibals so wouldn't i mean that would apply to any race of people why is why, why would chinese be specifically uh we made them white so that's okay like well i mean it's not really okay it seems like uh if it doesn't make sense to you, it's it's because you got to kind of go down that the cultural Bolshevik uh, rabbit hole where they want to focus all the dehumanizing hatred onto characters that look European because it's a form of stochastic terrorism. They want violence done to you. So by now, you've, you've got to be asleep to not have noticed that when you break down protagonists and antagonists, the bad guys are going to look like me and you, especially blonde and blue-eyed Aryan ubermensch stereotypes at a central casting. And the antagonists are going to be, or um, they make fun of the South a lot from these, uh, like a lot. They did this in Hollywood forever. I don't know if they still do. Or I don't know if people even watch TV or movies anymore. But uh, like these, these East and West Coast uh, people would never set foot in the South. But it's like for somehow the South was always just like deliverance. And then you you look at the reality and you look at the, the dystopian hell holes that are, you know, Los Angeles and New York, and you, you people are out of your fucking mind. You could, you'd be, walk, walk through any, um, any blue city, any left wing, uh, any left wing city, major city, these, these coastal elites, they think they're, they think they're living life so sweet and you won't make it out. they will walk through St. Louis, Detroit, Chicago, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at midnight and, on a Friday and see what happens. It's like, well, that'll, that'll be your last walk. It's like, okay, now, now walk through the, the South. And it's like, well, you might have to dodge um, black bears or sometimes gators or, or wild hogs. But you're just, it's just, it's insane that Hollywood led us to believe. And a lot of this was like in the 70s and 80s movies where it was always these, these blonde Southerners and pickup trucks who were just malicious and nefarious and then you go out and you meet them you're like oh this is this is like fucking paradise these people are so nice and then you, you realize uh, being from california how fast we talk and what kind of dicks we are you have to slow everything down and be more polite to people and it's a whole different world and um you know so many people are just brainwashed by hollywood it's it's bizarre and then they resist when you when you point out to somebody like how they think they they know something they're repeating some stereotype about the South, and 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 when you break it down, it's like, oh, I learned that from Hollywood. He's, like Hollywood's the worst people on earth. They fly to islands to abuse kids, and they're the ones who are like moral grandstanding. The whole thing's fucking bizarre. Anyway, um, so uh, that's what I'm trying to say is the the like Nordic uh, Nordic central casting is always going to be the bad guys. And it's funny when you think about it because Europeans are actually the people of color. In terms of, uh, yeah, this is the, the the Asian character, and they just made him white for some reason. In terms of variability of hair, skin, and eye color, like that's it's kind of it's a, a Frankfurt School inversion where they do they project a lot of things and they invert a lot of things because you know they're Moloch worshiping lizard people who sacrifice babies and, and drink their blood. So no Chinese cannibals in the zombie game um, because that's offensive and it's also tiresome. And the globalist revolution is happening so fast that you see remakes 
and things that are in a sequence get destroyed by these parasites. It even happened in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It went nine seasons, and then it, in the tenth season, they got woke and, and preachy, and that kind of killed it. And they just keep it going because they're coasting on what they did in the earlier seasons, and it's just a cash cow for them, but it's it's not worth watching. So there was a, another game that was getting the same treatment, uh, Saints Row, or, ah, oh shit, not, not Borderlands Saints, um, Saints Fire, almost something, Saints, maybe it was Saints Row, something like that, where they were background signs that had dirty puns in them, but now since we're, we're ruled by virtue signaling emo girls on their period, those, all those signs are offensive now, and it just kind of takes all the spice out of the game. Or then they replace the characters with characters that actually look female and were female, and they replace them with body-diverse, trans-furry otherkins. And the males will be feminine, and the women will be masculine, and will have uh, always dyed hair, and the sides of the head shaved, or mohawks, or something that says, like, they're totally punk rock, and they're fighting the patriarchy. It's just like Kim and Kim done over and over again. What's the meme? It goes, it's the future. And I was not prepared for everything to be this lame and gay. And, uh, I mean, literally not, not used as a pejorative. Everything is nerfed. And then it's slowly made as anti white as possible. Of course, the good news is you don't have to support this cancer. It is where everything is these 200 pounds shaved head nose ring cliches of what a feminist looks like and i mean that's i mean usually that's what feminists look like they're just ineffectual overweight angry at, at being overweight obese you know just angry cat ladies who who uh who kind of fell for the propaganda you know there's a lot of people who felt propaganda on the right as well as the left and uh with men as well as women you know these uh how far I want to go into this, but there's there's like a, a men's movement who like men going their own way or something I, that that popped up, and you go you know that that would just lower the birth rates of the people who believe in that. You get that right? Like you know that's a psychop to lower birth rates. Oh, but I'll have stuff. Yeah, but you won't have a future generation if you don't make more babies of your tribe. Like that's what a, that's kind of the definition of a psychop. You mean I got? I got brainwashed and propagandized too. Yeah, because schools for the past 40 years, what would 40 years be, 84? Mm, more like 30 years taught kids what to think and not how to think. Because even when I was in high school and college, we were still, I, I remember professors literally saying that a few times. It, it, they were saying, uh, and this is in the sciences, but they were openly saying, we want to teach you how to think, the process of the scientific method to come to your own conclusions and ask every question to go down every rabbit hole to to not be scared of anything and that was i mean that was i don't know 30 odd years ago and things are things are very much different now when you look at i don't know how i got off on this talking about so someone i was talking to on a post about this and going through all these changes of the game they go you know this is a remake that nobody nobody asked for and they oh okay this so can't people have a little fun? I thought this was America. Looking up skirts, you know, that's a that's that's a part of the game and you got points for it and you know, it's part of real life. That's you know, welcome to welcome to planet Earth that that men like women. What shocking, I know. And now they they just they just do this stuff. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's kind of dumb to put it in the game in the first place. I'll admit that. Um, but to take it out after you put it in is makes it even worse. It's like just stick to your guns. Oh, anyway, so the um, the communist thing where the uh, the guy was uh, the guy is a Vietnam vet, I guess in 2016. Would so it would have been the late 50s, 60s or something. And he's 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 beating up communists with a, a baseball bat with barbed wire. And uh, they changed that to to just take out the you know the communist part because because uh, they don't want to hurt the feelings of communists. But communists aren't, aren't aren't people, so I don't really see a, a problem with it. And then they, uh, so they they change the uh, the Asian to white, and and then the comments are not supportive, if I remember right. And then they change the uh, you know the upskirt shot and like midriff shot and boob shots, which again it's stupid to have it in the game. It's that's really juvenile. But leave it in, like have some was it Saints Row or something? And the the remake of that, the chicks were just. They, they, the chicks were bigger than the guys, and they're all vaguely ethnic. And you know, I was thinking about this. Uh, a good example of um, is uh, Birds of Prey with uh, not Harley Quinn. What's the actress's name? Margot Robbie. Birds of Prey. 
where what Hollywood does is they make all the bad guys as as white as just you know Nordic Aryan as possible. And so what they did in Birds of Prey was I think it was being too obvious. So they made the, they shaved the heads of these guys and they're all kind of vaguely they could be anything. They could be Mediterranean, you know, North African. Uh, they could be vaguely anything because you didn't they were kind of dark and in shadows and they were wearing hats and if they had their heads shaved. So you couldn't see hair color. It was just vaguely the bad guys. Where in Wonder Woman 84, if you go back and watch that again, and I know it's a two and a half hour slog to go through. I watched it twice because I was taking notes. Go through and look at all the bad guys. And I mean, pause the videos in the first few minutes. Uh, there's a scene where they're at a mall. And there's a couple that throws away like a pack of cigarettes or something, and it's a blonde couple that walks out of a store, and you have to you have to watch it. It's in the background, and that's how they do this stochastic defamation, where there's a blonde couple throwing down a pack of cigarettes walking out of a mall in the '80s, and that just wasn't likely that someone would publicly litter like that because someone else would yell at them because that it was a different society, and. It, but they want you to know it's it's blonde people. And then there's people, some kind of guys in a, some kind of hot rod, a Trans Am. I know the car guys will get upset. And I think the drivers, they're, they're two white characters, obviously. And they're, they're ripping around a busy town. And it's like, that's not where people were showing off in, in that scene. And then at the mall, there's, um, it was a mixed group. But it was some blonde guy who was holding kids hostages at a mall. It's like, that that's not how things happen. But Patty Jenkins... Patty Jenkins, I, I would love to know her story deeply. And hey, hey, how's Wonder Woman Part 3 coming on? Oh, yeah, we're not going to make it. Oh, okay, okay. And then Gal Gadot is now in uh, in Snow White. And we go, how's that working? Well, Gal Gadot is rooting for, the, uh, rooting for one team over in the, the Middle East. And Zegler is rooting for the other team. So... It's uh, that that movie's probably going to bomb for a whole lot of reasons, Mo- mostly because Gal Gadot is, is apparently rooting for the wrong team because she was uh, a, a soldier on that team. And anyway, a little bit off off track. Everything the thing is everything is like this now. Everything is just nerfed. I mean, they they nerf isn't quite the right term because they started taking all the edge out, taking all the spice out, and then they they realize well we have to make some people the bad guys. Well, they have to be white. So that's every character. Every... F- anyway. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode.